Department of Ancient History, log entry 238. I have devoted years of my life to the search for an ancient occult formula intended to reverse the flow of time. I am trying to decipher the writings of long-forgotten scribes, and I believe I have made a significant find in one of the old alchemical notes we found on Vernum, an island off the coast of Norway. I have brought all the material I have gathered to my home in order to study it without any distractions. The books speak of a spiritual presence, a thing of darkness which stalks unhindered across all dimensions. It is said to be all-seeing and all-knowing. I can feel my mind losing its grasp on reality as I dig deeper and deeper into this madness. Reading aloud exacerbates the process, but also I sense a force taking hold of my mind. Yet it is by such thorough disquisition upon the contents of these books that I believe I have found a solution to my wife's affliction. And yet, now I begin to fear that it is far too late. Signed, Professor Theodore Westmark. Well, hello there. So I said I wouldn't play the game because I didn't like it, but I ended up playing 20 minutes of it and I started to think maybe I enjoy playing this. So this is not as horror as it seems. It's more like a puzzle game mixed with RPG elements and some penumbra elements. So you might want to play this game with a controller. Yes. And we start a new game because it's a lot of fun. By the way, the game is a lot darker but you'll only see the filter which I applied to OBS so that means the game is about two times darker than what you see on the screen so don't let yourself be fooled by it. So exploration, more sigils or less sigils, let's just go for the medium one, more sanity, more sanity, less sanity, let's just go again for the middle option, maybe I'll play it again, less time, less inventory, it's all in our mind. Are you a careless person? Yes? No? I don't know. I don't know. We'll just figure it out. This time, relevant for pleasure. Quick is fun. That means you have less time. Slow is better. That means you have more time. It's actually timed. With headphones to get the best experience. Well, it's night and it's kind of dark and I'm playing with headphones. So yeah, you kind of choose your destiny or your gameplay rules. As you can see, it's not very clear what you have to do or what it means. But don't worry, you'll soon figure it out. <laughs> Such a fun game. I never imagined I would love playing games like this. It's kind of like a more classical approach to the game. But again, it has a lot of penumbra in it. I would call it an exploration penumbra game or something like that. Of course you can die, of course it will get very very bad. But more on this a bit later. For now we have to wake up. By the way, the game has an interesting perspective. The camera angles are not always the best, but you'll get used to them. Don't worry. The atmosphere for this, this game is amazing. So, again, you can play with a keyboard, but it works so much better with the controller. And you get a map. Most importantly, you have a map. 
and you have the first floor, second floor, attic and basement. As you can imagine, the basement and the attic have terrible things in them. Waking up in a place other than my bed was disconcerting. The, it is no mere darkness I see before me, I whispered to myself, but death itself. Sorry, I skipped that. The, the voice acting is actually pretty good. So find a lantern with oil or light, or turn on the lights with matches in some rooms to fight the dark ones. So if you don't light up a room, you won't see what's in that room. And if you don't, if you stay in the darkness for too long, you'll actually get the afflictions. I think to drain your life. So sanity, this is your sanity, what keeps you going alive. And to save your game and load your game, you need to spend sanity points. It's the 8 in the left of the screen. So that means, yeah, your health bar is kind of big and you can save and reload a few times. But if you don't progress, you'll permanently lose the game. Spend the points wisely. So the game kind of tells you it's not going to be an easy journey. So first of all, you will not even know what to do in the beginning. So let's combine that. Okay, let's not go into the darkness because you'll get attacked. So as you can see, the map will show you have something to pick up from here. And this is a light source. And sometimes if you actually light up a room, you'll be able to access all the items in it. So we found the match there. Play match was removed. Now we can open the chest. With the seal. Uh -huh. <laughs> what did you think it will be that easy? No, no. And even though the tutorial seems a little bit overwhelming, it will get even worse later. What do I have to pick up from here? Hmm, I actually didn't think about this, so let's see what else we can pick up from here. I don't know, this might be a bug or something. I can't really interact with anything or see anything. Oh, experiment. A small creature looks on the table, it's disgusting. Okay, so you need to light up certain... Okay, I understand now. I didn't do that in the beginning. Unidentified. So we can use the identification kits, but you lose them if you use them. So let's just identify this one. We identified it. It's a murky bottle, but we don't know what it contains. Just great. That's strange. Okay, let's open the first door. Remember, the game is two times as dark as you see it on the recording, so don't think it's a very bright game because it's Hello? very, very dark. Anyone there? Twenty-four sigils. I think if you select the less, to have less sigils, you only get fourteen of them. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> So I guess you can replay the game a lot of times. Billowing wisps of damp air filled my lungs as I took in the familiar yet haunting atmosphere. I thought to myself that this may look and feel like fragments of the Westmark estate, but it is not. Well, it's a castle. So you can see just by completing puzzles in the house. So, yeah. That's how you exit the place. Now, if you want to save over here, you'll have to spend a sanity point. And you have a lot of inventory space, but it will, don't worry, that will go away very soon. We have two huge pair of stairs over there. Oh, everything is randomized. Everything is randomized, including... Whoa. 
the little bits and pieces you find. We need an identification kit for that. <sighs> Interesting. So we find the pocket watch. The clock is stuck at 1.45. So you know what we'll do first, let's follow the blood, because that door closed on us. Ammonia. So yeah, everything you see in the game is randomized. Wow, that's a lot of replayability. Herbal mix. What is that? Okay, that's another light source that I need to kind of open. Let's not go downstairs because downstairs looks like it's going to be full of monsters and other nasty stuff. Herbs, more storage stuff, okay. Now we got a couple of keys. Again, it's randomized. The first time I played it I got two keys here. Okay, let's walk through this door in the kitchen. I smell something nice that cooking. Smell. Nothing you would want to set your teeth in, that's for certain. A kitchen for another purpose than to please the senses. Though this smell I will never forget. It looks kind of delicious, but that's not nice meat. That's a box of matches. It only has three matches. It reminds me so much of Penumbra. Uh, by the way, I think this is the full version of the game, minus, plus or minus some things. Yeah, let's not eat that. I think we can combine some items. This looks odd. How about the meat? Can we take the meat cleaver? By the way, that actually lowered our uh, sanity meter. So, sometimes you have to avoid certain things, so don't go exploring and touching everything you see. I love you. Elizabeth. Also, the crate has a journal piece. I think something is wrong. Her room is locked and Elizabeth will not tell me where the keys. We only said it in the second floor entrance hall behind the plant. Second floor entrance behind the plant. Okay, I think we need to remember that. It's He's watching. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. By the way, she comes at you at different angles, so yeah, the game will really scare you. That was a different angle than the one I was expecting. The hatches are basically shortcuts. We can't go in here because we didn't uncover more than one. Yes, you can fall down to your death. I'll just do this puzzle a little so you can see what he, you will have to deal with. Nailed shot. So we have a skeleton key part with Roman 1. Yeah, that will not work. So let's identify this book. So let's use the clue. Oh, an old haggard lady by black, embraced by a black servant. She's in a wheelchair. Garden photograph. There's a shrubbery with a dark patch, and inside are two eyes staring back at me. Turning the photograph there are several wet and rickety bugs crawling out and over the book. Look 
Плюс да букаем фроуита, лейтурн да надо. Не, не, лес турнет. Poor guy, he'll be traumatized by the time we finish this. You can fall down and that will cost you one sanity point. Okay, so we fully explore this place. The kitchen that is. Mm, I want to eat some of this. This looks hard. And also let's see what we have. So we have a reliquary key. Oh, and you have different storage spaces all over the house. So I guess that's also randomized. Herb, herbal, leather. Ammonia. Okay, so I guess this is everything we can do in the kitchen for now. Stop wasting all the lantern oil, you fool. Okay, he's here. <laughs> Major oil flask. So now we have access to another hedge. That means we can quickly move to another hedge. So that one is there, this one is here. It's in the safe room. <laughs> oh, you like how that sounds? Yeah, I guess we'll get chased somewhere along the way. Open for your need. So this is the storage, you can put items into storage if you think you don't need them anymore or maybe for safekeeping. I guess we'll keep everything mm. since, yes. since we have a lot of storage space, okay. This was basically the kitchen and the first area of the game. Now you might want to explore it in another way. Okay, let's not go into the basement. Okay, that was kind of scary. Music, stop it already, you're not helping me. Sun symbol. Well, like I said, going into the basement is not a good idea. So let's try to find another door. Okay, that was scary because he was blocked. He couldn't open, he couldn't light the little candlestick Okay, that was kind of scary to identification kits Minor oil flask, so I guess we don't see every item on the map Is that me? I think the door. Well, I'm afraid to get an axe because I'll probably get it from an axe murderer. And that clock is stop at a different time. So every time you save it costs plus one cent point, okay? This doesn't look like an important map. <laughs> yeah, that atmosphere is great. It will actually get to you.
I also have a lot of notes if you want to read more about everything we saw so far. Free stuff, I love it. Really quick keys for fine for opening the chests. Clock winding key. I'm so afraid to go downstairs. <laughs> okay, let's just explore this room. What lies deep within us shall not be dragged out by the natural instinct of curiosity. I have had my fair share of problems. Is this another safe room? Oh no, it's an alchemy lab. Hello, little dear. Okay, give me the items. Okay, we received another un unidentified book, so let's identify it. Eldritch book, okay. Yeah, maybe I want to save before I do that, I don't know. Interesting. How about now? Can I take the alchemy lab? Ah, oh, okay. To lantern oils and to other useful things. Sanity point gained. Okay, we finally gained the sanity point. So we can go into the kitchen or the safe room. And did we actually go and explore everything? Okay, looks like we didn't go into the this room in the kitchen. Hello darkness, my old friend. It's broken. Lock seems broken. We'll we'll get so we'll get so killed. We'll be chased so many times. It won't even be fun. But before we do that, let's just save at the. At the most convenient point. Okay, we did a lot of work and again, saving and reloading, I don't know what's the difference, but I guess if you die without that, you'll be stuck in the same room forever. So let's just save over here. A safety save. Ah, that actually cost... Okay... A bit disappointed that costed more than I thought, but I guess it's okay. Wait, I didn't search that part of the house. Can't believe how fun. Okay, that's because it's an X there. Hello, mirror, mirror on the wall. This looks strange. Uh... Okay, that was not so you can. Even if you see the map symbol, sometimes they'll be unknown and you can do some other crazy stuff, I imagine. I believe this is the garden door. Oh. Well, we have no choice but to go downstairs. And also, time is ticking. Oh, I'm stop being, being scared of that little blood. It's only blood. Probably it belonged to a rat or something, and the rat 
scratched himself on a board. So why didn't I go into the door that that is from the kitchen down? Make me proud, son. A father. Interesting. Interesting, do I have any... Uh, I don't have any identification kit. Oh, that's because I have that curse. How do I remove the curse? That's why it costed two points. Hmm, I guess I have to play more and find out. I would, oh. li I would like to know more, that really scared me. Okay, some items do stack. Why is this... Why did the chair move? Well, because it had the minor oil flask on it. At least we have a little cozy fireplace. That's weird. Okay, this is a very good game. Maybe I'll play some more of it. See you next time. By the way, this is a dining table. As uh, we would here in Resident Evil 1. A di oh, matches. I almost missed them. So now I have four matches. <laughs> okay, we're losing too much time. Someone bring me a, a cup of warm tea. See you next time. Bye.